Yes, yeah, Sheree, you know, James Austin Hancock didn't have much to say during today's hearing, but the four times he said the word guilty were hugely significant moments for a, a tight knit community that's really been shaken to its core. The child is charged with four counts of attempted murder, felony in the first degree as if he were an adult, four counts of felonious assault, felonies of the second degree, and one count of inducing panic. The prosecutor there reading the charges against Hancock. In all, he pleaded guilty to four counts of attempted murder today and one count of inducing panic. Those assault charges were dismissed. An attorney for the now 15 year old Hancock says the teen will be in juvenile lockup until he's 21. And if he causes any problems between now and then, the judge could send him to adult court for more than 60 years. It all stems from that day in late February when Hancock took a relative's loaded handgun to Madison Junior Senior High and shot two classmates. Two other students were injured trying to flee the chaos. Now I talked to Hancock's attorney and also the mom of one of those teens who was injured. You're dealing with the mind of a 14 year old. He was 14 at the time and there really isn't a motive, a good motive for what he did. He should be charged as an adult. At 15 years old he knows better. Period. Still no indication of a motive, as you heard attorney Charlie Ritger say. Now, that woman was Ginger Weaver, her son hit by shrapnel. She says she feels sorry for the Hancock family, but she says she's just standing up for her son, who she knows could have been killed today. Hancock decided to pull the trigger. Reporting live in Hamilton, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.